Good morning. Welcome to .programming.blogspot.com. This is my blog that is converted into codeacad.com. So, uh, okay. Today I will show you how to use validation control in ESP.NET. This is simple uh, thing you can do in ASP.NET MVC. So, on each class in MVC, you can put your validation messages. So, first of all, create a class biodata inside model folder like that public int id string name password retype passwords email age okay it's pretty simple so simple uh, create a class by data on each field or you can say on each property you can set your validations like id is required name is also required also a name display as a username and password is as a required and retype password as a confirmed message with the confirmed message as well as required also and the age uh, in intake as a range you should take email also display name equals to username also name is required and if you want to set some string and uh, string length that is 20 character the string length and the error message after passing some characters after 20 20th character like 21 that will be display that message name not be exceed okay password is also required retype password is also required also compare with the above field that is password okay it's a too much simple oops square bracket is needed for your validation compare and which field you want to compare that is password okay that's enough in retype and in the age field you can set your range validator so here we have a four and fifth type of validations like required display string length compare range and regular expression for your email range is 18 to 31 and what is the error message is please enter between 18 to 31 okay and after that you have email so image is also required a regular expression for the email is that is designed by the 
user plus double slash at the rate dot plus double slash dot dot plus that is the valid uh, email address expression actually error message is please enter valid email okay that's fine in a controller folder add a new controller and that is Jacob the name of the controller is Jacob you can take the default controller name is home and that controller have index method and that index method add a new view section so before adding a view for the index method must to build your project add view create a model class is biodata edit okay that's fine now run your project and check your validations so uh, thank you for this video uh, for watching your video tutorial and thanks again uh, if you subscribe to my channel, then you will learn many more things about ASP.NET MVC. Thank you. Thank you again.